certified personal trainer and nutritionist, and today I have a no equipment, beautiful belly workout. So it begins with the warm up, we'll do the workout itself, and then we have cool down stretches for when we're done. These exercises are all going to strengthen the various parts of the core, so that would include the obliques, the intrinsic core, the upper and lower abs, so all that good stuff. Before we begin, I have an inspirational phrase to share with you. It says, shape your destiny by continuing to do your best, knowing unfavorable circumstances will be followed by favorable circumstances. So oftentimes, even though you probably don't want to hear it, the suffering that you face or the obstacles you face are the pain and labor to your growth. And they're only temporary. And if you just keep a positive mindset, you benefit the most and they're easier to get through because who wants to wallow in sadness? So that being said, anytime you're faced with hardship, know that it's going to pass and that good things can come from it. If anything, you will learn something. So that being said, we'll begin our warm up. The first thing that we have is a down dog to a cobra. So you're going to be in in your down dog and you're only going to be here for a moment before you drop down into a cobra. We're going to do that a total of three times and this is beneficial because it's going to stretch the back, the lats, the hamstrings, and the abdominals, which will be working. stretch. It's going to stretch along the side of the abdominals and the shoulders and the lats. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold an imaginary big ball in front of you and you're going to lean and then switch sides. So we're going to alternate for six. now we're ready to start the actual workout. So some of these moves are pretty challenging, but I encourage you to challenge yourself. So even if something's difficult, if you don't hurt yourself, you should persist in trying it because that, that's how you're going to get there to doing it is by trying. So the first thing we have are called ballerina leg lifts. And what you're going to do is you're going to place yourself on your elbow on one side. You're going to raise your arm on the other, extend your legs. From here, you're going to lift up and then drop back down. So we're going to do that for eight and then switch sides. This works the intrinsic core and the obliques. Once you've done eight, switch. to our next exercise, which is going to be a roll to a boat. So you're going to wrap yourself into a ball, you're going to roll, and then at the end here, you're going to expand into a boat. So we're going to do that for 10. This is really good for your intrinsic core or the deep core muscles that brace your spine. Our next exercise, which is going to be a straight leg cross body crunch. So you're going to first begin laying like this with your hands beside your ears and your knees up. You're going to extend one leg and you're going to bring your opposite elbow to this leg across your body. So we're going to do that for eight and then switch. This works the obliques. Once you've done eight, switch. The next exercise 
size we have is a half of a rock. So just how we did the rock earlier as a ball, this time we're going to do a more challenging version. So what you're going to do is first make yourself a boat. You're going to bring your knee and elbow together like so and then perform the rock. So we're going to do 10 on each side. Let's begin. This is a really great but challenging exercise to get a pretty solid core. It's one of my favorites. Once you've done 10, switch. So one of the great things about having a strong core, besides that everyone is trying to get abs, is that it helps increase your balance and it reduces things like back pain and increases uh, or improves your posture. to our next exercise, which is for the obliques. It's called a side lying mermaid. So you're going on your side, and you're going to prop yourself up on your elbow, or you can use your arm as a pillow. And from here, you're going to bend at your waist to bring your arm and leg together. If they don't quite meet, that's okay. That just means that you have a little tightness in your body, but you'll still be getting that squeeze there in your obliques, which is good enough. So we'll do 10. to our last exercise, which is going to work the lower abdominals and the intrinsic core. It is called Calypso Leg Circles. So you're going to place your legs underneath your bottom to support your lower back. You're going to raise your legs off the ground and draw two big circles with your legs. So we're going to do ten big circles. stretches. The first thing we have is the half lord of the fish. So you're going to sit like an L, cross one leg, and then take your opposite hand over that leg. You should feel a gentle stretch in your lower back and maybe in your hip. And these are important after doing ab exercises because sometimes there's strain in the lower back uh, as you continue to gain strength there. And they're also connected. So uh, all whole body is connected and it's important to take care of each piece. There's no such thing as spot training or working on just what you want. You have to work on everything for everything to work healthily and it's called a kinetic chain. So when one piece of the chain is broken, the other ones are in a disarray as well. So you have to make sure to take care of every part of your body for maximum health benefits. So after a brief pause to switch sides. have is a child pose and this is going to stretch the lower back. It's also going to stretch the shoulders and the lats. So you're going to kneel and then fold down. And that concludes our beautiful belly no equipment workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth, and like, subscribe, and share.